Hi everyone, it's Gina from Gina C Creates, and today I'm going to show you how to layer this multicolored wrap. Once you have my SVG downloaded, you can upload it to Design Space and select the SVG files. This file will have the layers, and you can just save it to your library. And once you have it in your library, add it to your canvas and make sure that it uploaded the correct size. So up here, it should be 9.75 in the width. So you could type that in if it's not the size. Next, we are going to ungroup the SVG and we are gonna select the top layer, which is the yellow layer. And it's in its own group. So we're gonna right click and hit weld. And I like to hit weld because this will make your all your little small pieces into one layer. So it's easier for your Cricut to use. So what I'm doing is selecting each layer by its own colored group and I am hitting weld. So they will cut in one piece. And the little two boxes on the top are going to be our registration guides. And for this layer, I didn't put a registration because I didn't want to waste that much vinyl. So I'm just going to put it together by hand. So now we have all our mats ready to cut and I'm going to cut on vinyl plus. Here are the colored vinyl I'm using. It's seven different colors. So I have a navy blue and two teal colors, one dark, one white. I have a yellow, I have a bubblegum pink, a hot pink, and a red. And for my glass, I'm using a 16 ounce beer can shape glass you can get these on amazon and i'll leave the link for you in the description so once you have all seven of your colors picked out we can begin cutting on our mat and sometimes i use painter's tape to hold down my vinyl and this will keep it from shifting around on the mat because i have like a lot of delicate designs that will go back and forth so now once we have everything cut out this is the layer that we are gonna put them in. So you're gonna have the navy blue on the bottom and on top of that will be the hot pink and then the red, then the light pink, the dark teal, the light teal, and then the yellow on top. So now we're just going to start with the bottom layer and weed off our excess vinyl. I like to pull my vinyl back 180 degrees away from the paper and this seems to be the easiest way to weed off vinyl. When weeding off this type of design, you're gonna to wanna to use your right hand to hold down any of your designs that are lifting and then pull back with your left hand. And since this wrap has so many different colors, you are gonna waste a little bit of vinyl on each color, but I think it's worth it with the final outcome of this design. I was really happy um, to create a Mexican embroidery style design and just to create it with vinyl, um, it's going to look amazing. Now I'm on my top layer, which is the yellow layer, and I'm just making sure I'm not missing any of these tiny yellow designs. And towards the top, I did miss quite a few. So I'm just going to go back and place them back onto my paper. You can see on the white paper, there's a little cut outline so it'll show you where exactly to put it back in case some come off when you weed and now we're going to begin to assemble the decal so i'm going to take the bottom layer and tape it onto my mat or you can leave it on your cricut mat to keep it flat next you're going to have your hot pink layer go on top so i'm going to use a piece of parchment paper in between to line up my square boxes and once I have it aligned, I'm gonna remove the paper and press down with my Cricut scraper. And then I'm gonna gently remove and peel back my transfer tape, making sure that none of my design comes off. I'm gonna use my spatula to hold it down and gently pull back my transfer tape. This will take a little bit of patience each time you layer your different colors. So the next color we're going to layer is going to be the red layer. And I'm just doing the same. I'm using my transfer tape to transfer the red layer. 
and I'm using the parchment paper in between to line up my squares perfectly. And then you're going to remove the parchment paper and then you're going to press down from the top to make sure there's no air bubbles and then gently pull back your transfer tape. Next, we are going to apply the light pink layer. So you just use the same transfer tape and pull off the backing. And then we are just going to line up the squares again as close as you can, making sure all the little flowers are in the correct spot. And then lay it down and remove the transfer tape. And now we have the dark teal leaves. And I'm going to place these by hand just so I didn't waste so much vinyl on this layer because there's only like eight little pieces. So after that, we are going to layer on the light till and this will be the rest of the green leaves. So you just remove the backing and use your parchment paper again and line up your squares perfectly. And you just want to make sure you have all the little leaves lined up. And then you can press down with your transfer tape and then gently remove the transfer tape. And now we are going to apply the last layer, which is the yellow layer. So the process is pretty much the same. You just remove the backing and use the parchment paper to apply it, the decal. Now that we have our full decal assembled, we can trim off the excess to get it down just to the design. And then we are going to clean our glass with alcohol to make sure it is clean of debris. And we are just going to remove our backing off our decal. We're going to trim down some parchment paper. And then we are going to make sure we line this straight across, cut off some parchment paper and press that down and now you can rotate it around your cup making sure there's no air bubbles and before you press down one side you have to go back and lift up the first side and then you can press down the rest and this will connect your design and make it seamless i know for some people this mexican embroidery wrap could be a challenge because it has so many layers the seven different colors but once you are done you're going to absolutely love the final product i hope you give this wrap a try and please don't forget to subscribe if you enjoy my videos thank you